the best performing artist that we have alive is Beyonce. Yeah. Like, far not. There's, this isn't a question anymore. Well, Carol Channing's still alive. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Two Gay Mats. It's Matt Steele. And it's Matt Palmer. And so today, we're the VMAs. Yes. They're uh, basically a show where everyone tries to top each other. Yeah, and who can create summer. the biggest moment, the most shareable moment, the most viral moment of 2016. Who won this year? Beyonce. Surprise. <laughs> Guess what? It was Beyonce who I'm, predicted that one. I mean, literally Beyonce. everyone. <laughs> when it comes to live performing on a stage, like on a stadium tour or on my television, Beyonce always wins. <laughs> it's just, there's no, she just can't lose. No, I don't. Yeah. And when you think she's gonna lose, when you're like, oh, what's gonna happen? It's just like, no, JK. And so as soon as we see that the performance is 15 minutes, I love that she was given 15 minutes. She's not getting the video vanguard. Rihanna got to perform like three separate times, but right? like, Beyonce probably performed more time <laughs> than Rihanna did. This is how I want every Beyonce performance on every award show, American Music Awards, Billboard, everything. 15 minutes at least. I just want to know what the rehearsal process was like for that. Everywhere the camera was, she was, she knew exactly where to look. Just, it was so intricate. It's just like, I don't know how she didn't like, get lost on that stage because I was lost just looking at her. I was like, where is she? Where but are Beyonce you? knew which camera was she turning on. She... It's obviously opened with Pretty You Catch Me, which is a lovely song, one of my favorites on the album, and the aerial shot of like the girls being shot and like, like that shot was... and dropping. Oh, it just starts... I feel like if she wasn't going to perform Freedom, she had to remind everyone, like, also the world's shit. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. FYI, guys. Anyone's forgotten, everything's a problem. Yes. Then they go to the poetry, which again is all I want from the audio version of the album. It's like those fucking poems are my life. She goes right into Hold Up and again, one of my only like qualms with the visual album is like, oh I wish there was more choreo and during Hold Up, and during every song honestly, but the choreography and Hold Up for me was just so It was awful. just so, and when she like breaks it down and yes. it went into like the like crazy section. Countdown from four, great and, song. And then she took that baseball bat and <sighs> she just whacked that camera. Yep, cracked it in like, half, what? fell over. Fell no over. Camera, brilliant. Up. <laughs> brilliant. And then you thought she was gonna skip Don't Hurt Yourself, I know, which I was very upset I about. know, right when she went into Sorry, I was like, I mean I love Sorry I love the police lights, I love the angles. But we, we need the anger chapter I first. I need the anger chapter. Before we get into the apathy chapter. And so I think Don't Hurt, Hurt Yourself translates live in a way that I was not expecting. Oh, it was like unbelievable. It's unbelievable on the record, but as a live performance piece, it's like, oh my god. Oh my god, this is you ought to know. <laughs> this is like anger, it is fire, oh, it is like emotion that's so like guttural and just came through the television screaming through at you. And it's, I love that half the song she's like editing some words, but it's like, you guys can just fucking bleep me on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck do, do you, you think, think I, I am? am? <laughs> yes. oh, I smell that fragrance! I know. <laughs> But we were talking about before the camera turned on, Matt Palmer was just like, I don't understand the people who still say they don't like Beyonce. I know, they're crazy. Because especially after this performance tonight, there's no excuse. I know. There's it's no like, excuse. even if those songs aren't your favorite songs, you cannot look at that performance and say that she is not at the top of her game. That she is not amazing and like the pop icon of the Yes, the, the best musical performer on the planet. The level that she's at versus the level that everyone else is, it's just, su there's such a differential that it's kind of sad. I know. You know? It's like, why is no one else ne even nearly as good at this? We can do better, we can do world. Better. We can do much better. Oh, great song. <laughs> Britney. Okay. Oh, okay. You don't need to remind yourself how much you love Britney. You can watch our Glory album review. It's a great album. Positives. I think she did have energy. Oh, yeah. I think she, she was on that she floor. She was on that she floor. Sex. She was on, on beat. She was she, throwing the hair yeah, around. She seemed like she was having fun. Having she fun. Enjoying herself. g Easy was far too involved. We did not need his song. The fact that we went into Me, Myself, and I and not like a Glory track. She is the star of the VMAs. She is the person who's made her mark as an icon on the VMAs. I don't need a g Easy hit from like five months ago. Oh, that Britney Spears. Oh, was it that long ago? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. It's not new. It was not like I swear it's from the spring. Oh, it was old. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of just like oh, like we'll help each other. You scratch but, my back. But hello, I'm Britney Spears. I'm helping you for giving you any sort of opportunity. I you need to walk off the stage as I start. Do you want to come over? You want to know what's funny though? When the whole Britney performance started and the hands were like doing that, I yeah. love that. Yes. But like. I swear I might have must have dreamed that before because it, I was having such a deja vu moment. I was like, I've seen a blonde woman dancing with a lime green, neon right. green outfit and like shadow hands like around her. I mean, so I, I think I might be psychic. Well, I think Beyonce's done something similar to that. I okay, mean, they might. <laughs> and she did put out a lovely, great album this year. So we're again very proud of her. I'm still listening to that album. It's great. It. It's, it's so brilliant. Good. It's brilliant. I just wish we heard more songs from it. Honestly, I, I, I yeah, I'm like so I, I, I thought it was gonna be a make me into. Do you want to come Same. over? I think that's, that's exactly what, what I was expecting. Been. But 
which uh, of the Rihanna segments was your favorite? I, which act was it? Act one, act one, act two, act, two, act, act three. Act one, act I, one. I I think it was the ballad section. I think I liked the rude boy uh, thing with like where there were like, there were like thousands that. of people on I stage. Did like that. You felt like what you want to feel like when you're listening to Rihanna. Right. Like, I would have wanted Umbrella to be in one of those. Yeah, segments. right. I was like, when's Umbrella coming? Like, are we really gonna ignore like Umbrella? I don't know if you watched Drake give her the award. He kind of made in his speech it was very much like I've been in love with this girl since I was 22 and then it was like it was kind of like are you guys gonna confirm that you're dating because like that's the rumor and then Rihanna got the award and was like this is great thank you for everyone who's helped me get here and like mentioned Drake no time it's like oh Rihanna you're great <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the award thank you it's been a great long years and I, I appreciate this award see ya good for her yeah good this for her this isn't about him no it's not this is not about your love I mean it's nice that you like her or whatever love is great I love cool. everyone loves a crush but you can just write it in your diary Drake we don't need to hear about it on the VMAs <laughs> We need about a Rihanna's iconic career. Alessia Cara performed in the pre-show and she sounded one. Oh, I like her. I, I like, like her, her a lot. I think she's, she's really fun. Very good live. Yeah, I guess that was the VMAs. They're, they're, they kind of cut to Key and Peele a lot. So I saw that like a, the reviewer said like, ooh, the VMAs kind of sucked because like there was too much Key and Peele. Yeah, and, like, and again, I love their show, but it was just kind of disjointed. Honestly, thank goodness for Beyonce. Like she is what made this show watchable and perfect and wonderful. Even if she wasn't on the show, just thank God. For exactly. Her. If anyone is going to inspire you to be better at your job, <laughs> or your passion in life, it is Beyonce. I just, I don't feel it's like Beyonce. I was worthy to see that performance. <laughs> like, I was watching it and I was just like, this is so above and beyond, like, anything I'm worthy of having but my eyes that's on. That's the thing, the rest of our lives are gonna be dedicated to getting to that level. So maybe after Devo's is done, you'll be like, you'll rewatch the performance and feel like you deserve it. Okay. <laughs> Tell us what were your favorite parts of the VMAs. Obviously, Beyonce, honestly, what was your favorite part of Beyonce's performance? Yeah, like... <laughs> Let's be serious. Comment below, let us know. Like our video, share it. Follow us on Twitter at Matt Power Music. And it's Matt Steele. You can follow us both at Two Gay Matt or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Two Gay Matt. Subscribe, like, share, do all the things. And happy VMAs to Happy you. VMAs. Until oh, next year. Until next year. Happy VMAs. Now, you'll see us like next week. Yeah, by now. Well, you know, bye, guys. <laughs> Are you saying we're going to have a hiatus? Ominous. Are you quitting?